Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and tonight we're going to do an office supply test from the Dollar Tree. Um, but first, in my Starbucks Valentine's reusable cup, I have some just plain old Lipton black tea. It's delicious. I love black tea. And I just felt like being yummy. So I got that. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to chit chat too much. There's a lot of product here to test. But I wanted to show you some of the notebooks I picked up recently. Um, look at these. These are pom-poms, guys. And it's a llama. And I like that the spiral is just a little off-centered. And there's pink lines. This is 50 Sheets. And it is by Greenbrier. So I picked up one of those. Um, I think I showed this already. Life is better in bloom. I like the spiral notebooks. So I've been collecting those. And then behind me, here and here, those two for sure are notebooks and things that need to get. This all needs to be cleaned behind me. But those two for sure. And then I know I showed you this one. I was going to write in the notebooks, but I'll show you what I'm using. And then I did show you this as well. I'm going to learn to hand letter and I grabbed one of these child size notebooks, but if you can tell it has the three lines to help me with my hand lettering. So I grabbed one of those just to use. For the test today, I picked up these two. A sketch, they're both sketch pads. This is a sketchbook. This is a sketch pad. Um, the difference that I can tell you right off the back, if you can see. This from the sketchbook seems to be a little more gray. Um, this is more white. The bigger paper seems to be heavier in quality than the sketchbook. And I know I saw before Christmas at my store, they had like one for watercolors, one for markers. This one is for, um, it says standard weight, ideal for dry media, acid free. So this is for like charcoals and pencils. We're gonna use it for everything, but the ideal situation is for dry for this, because this is the only book they had at my store. And this one, it just is it's suitable for pencil, charcoal, crayon, and pen. So same, same, same. Inside this, I found it pretty interesting with some little, like, how to draw. And it's a little lighter weight, not too much. This says it's medium weight paper. And there's 50 sheets in here, and the big one has 40. So we are going to use, I have, I think this will be enough, two sheets from the larger sketchbook and one of the little ones to try some things. So I think what we'll do first, and I have some scissors to open all these packages, but I think what we'll do first is the pencils. So let me flip you around, and we're going to see how this stuff works. All right, first we're going to do the pencils. I don't think I'm going to need scissors for right now. But these are the Ink Brand Side Click Convenient Grip 7mm for Mechanical Pencils. We're only going to need to try one, right? I probably should have had these open, but I wanted to show you the packaging. I do have a trash box behind me. So the side click is over here. And I don't think we're going to have an issue. Yeah, that writes nice. I like the grip. It's rubber. Um, they come with a couple pieces of lead in each pen. And it's 7 millimeter. And that writes nice. So that's a good one. I will say that's a good pencil. Then we're going to try the Jot brand neon colored pencils. Let's see how these write. I like a good colored pencil, but I like more opacity to mine. And I find sometimes like the Rose Art brands and whatnot, they're not real um, pigmented. But we're going to try. Yeah, see? I mean, this is okay for kids, but it's definitely not something I would pick up to write with. I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard, and I'll show you. Where are we at? I'm on the other side today. It's okay. It definitely, I mean, I was pushing pretty hard. And I would say definitely on this, I would go with Crayola. And they do sell Crayola at the Dollar Tree. 
just not in the neon colors. But I would say that's a eh. Now these are what they sell as artists. Like graphite, watercolor pencils, and metallic pencils. Now I have, I just tested these already and I can tell you they're great. They're really creamy. I'm just gonna do one to show you. We'll take a dark color. They're really creamy, if that makes sense. And look at the difference. I mean, I'm not even pushing super hard, but look at how much darker that is to the two neon. These I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend, and I'm not giving these away, because I like the colors. So these are the metallics. Now, these are graphite, so they're like an artist pencil, from what I understand. I mean, I don't know anything about artist pencils. It's, it's a firm pencil. It definitely is not as creamy as the color pencil. I mean, it writes. I'm sure you can draw with it. I don't know what you do with a graphite pencil. It doesn't smear when you touch it. So I assume that's a good artist pencil. I mean, if artist pencils are supposed to be hard, like a firm, where when I colored with this one, it even feels creamier. This just feels graphite-y. But again, they're artist pencils. And then this is the watercolor. And I have done watercolors before. So we'll take a color here. And what you do with the watercolors is you color it in. And then we're just going to take a little bit of you and you paint with it. And it doesn't seem to do what other watercolors that I have used have done. The other watercolor brushes or pencils that I've used, when you do the water, they, uh, you know, they paint. And it's not leaving a lot of pigment behind. Okay, well, there we go. You just have to put, I guess, more of the pencil down, but it doesn't, I don't think that really does what it's supposed to do. So we're going to say that's a, eh. We'll give these a, eh, they're okay. I'm, they're fine, I'm supposing, but other times I've used a watercolor pencil that you definitely, it painted like you were painting. So the eh and the good are going to go over here. We'll get some different paper out now because we are going to get out colored gel pens. Now, I've already done those. So we've got, these are all Dollar Tree but different brands. So this is your ink, INC, clip grips, and they're supposed to write in each of those colors. So we'll see. This is uh, Pro Max, Pro Marks ballpoint pen in different colors this is a jot this is a jot two different types of gel pens and i feel like they're pretty much the same color range and then this is the cello brand so we'll try the cello brand first and i need to keep the packaging at least that so i know what pile this goes in these came with hot pink, a purple, and a blue. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, there's a little rubber thingy on the tip. All right, let's see. Super smooth. These write really smooth. And they don't skip. Oh, these are nice, guys. These are really nice if you run into them. And they don't, um, and they really leave a nice color to them. So these cello are a win in my book. Cello brand is a win. Let's try these Pro Mark. Okay, now it says that the color is in the lid. I can already tell you I like the grip. It's got this rubber grip on it, and I enjoy that. Oh, another thing on the tip. Uh, mm, they write okay, 
they're not super smooth. I will say that right out the gate. They're not super smooth. These little rubber balls on the tip are nice. Like that orange was kind of hard to get the ink to lay down. Now the purple is pretty nice. Let's try this pink. Yeah, the pink does good. The pink is pretty nice. They they put down a nice color. That red, I will tell you, was a little rough. And, and they're okay. These are okay. They're not as smooth as the cello, but they do leave behind a nice color, which is great for bullet journaling. So these are going to say okay. These pearl marks are not bad at all. The red, and they're one millimeter. The red was a little... A little rough at first but it smoothed up so these are gonna get the yeah these are okay I don't hate them how about that and that's big in my life because I there's some pens that I just hate these are the jot six pack and they look kind of neon -y. I can tell you right out of the bat they feel cheap I don't like the way they feel um, in my hand it's a very cheap pen Yeah, and they they don't write good. I, I didn't have high hopes, but, you know. Um, they're okay. I would go with the Pro Marks, but if this is all you can get your hands on, they're okay. And I would say more for coloring, less for lettering. So if you had to color some stuff in, I would say they were better for that than... Um, trying to write like in a bullet journal they're kind of thick and they're gonna be um what millimeter are these these are 0.8 millimeter um i don't love them they're a rough the ball doesn't really run freely like i said if you were they, they're okay pigment wise but they're pretty rough this is not something i want to write with at all look and the pens themselves don't feel good, but if you're a first-time journaler, and like I said, it's all you can get your hands on, they're okay. But if you had a choice, I would go with the Pro Marks over this Jot, for sure. Now, this is, again, Jot, and I think these are the exact same pens, just in a different color palette. I'm going to try one, but I'm fairly certain. We'll try this green. Yeah, it's the same pen. Uh, but it writes nice. This is a really nice green. Color-wise, it's a nice green. It still writes a little rough. And they still feel kind of cheap. Yeah, and this is barely, barely pigmented. And it's already running out of ink. Mm, these, I mean, I like this green. I can tell you I like the green. The rest of them... I just would steer clear of these jopped pens if you can help it. Um, I don't. I don't think you'll be happy trying to write in a planner or a journal with those. These are good um, for coloring. Again, I have already tested these before. They skip though when you're trying to write like words and stuff, and they get kind of clumpy. But they do put down a nice color. Um, but I didn't want to review those because they're from the Christmas section and they are they don't have them in store anymore. All right, this is the ink brand, the INC, and they're a click pen. Ooh, that's an awful click, just so you know. It's not smooth at all. Um, ooh. I didn't get any pigment. Um... The pink is oh, just okay. Purple is a little more opaque and smooth. This is just black. I hope you're able. Let me get you a little closer, guys. Oh, let me see. Sorry about my, it won't come any closer. The black is okay. Let's try the blue. Um, you know, these are, again, they're not super smooth but they're better than those jot ones 
they just don't you're not going to get a real deep color like we did with the cello and the um pro marks that is not green i don't even know what color that is and why people get yellow pens is beyond me Ooh. yeah these are not a favorite of mine and then this is supposed to be yellow yeah it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty gold it's an orangish yellow so here you go they put down color it's okay it's not something if this makes any sense at all it's not something i enjoy writing with like when i get a good pen and i write with it i enjoy writing with it so here's what i have to say with the colored pens if you want them for these gel type color pens the cello you're limited to a three pack the pro max is a six pack these two packages put down a nice color in a smooth right the other ones will give you color um down here these are the gel they're okay i would color in with these the jot gels i would not try writing with them with the um ink brand they're okay they're nice fine you're gonna get some good letters it's just not gonna you know it's not as smooth up here but they're okay so i guess these three i would say will be your best bet for bullet journaling or type of writing like that now i have some markers to try and colored pencils but we're gonna do those last because i've got these two hybrid pens then we're gonna go into the black and blues but these are kind of a hybrid. They're in a color, but these are seven millimeter rollerball pens. So these are not a gel pen. These are more for writing in your like bullet journals or whatever, schoolwork. And these are just out right now, which is great um, because they're in store. And I feel like I bought these before, but I can't remember if I liked them or not. So we're gonna try them. So the four colors that are available in now are the, a pack comes with purple and this dark blue and then a pink and a teal. So we are going to try these pens. I also recommend writing over more than one piece of paper at a time. So let's see. Oh, that writes nice. Yeah. It's not terrible. It's not ultra smooth. But it's also not terrible. Here's the other thing, though. Does it smudge right away? And it does not. And they put down a nice color. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll bring it up. But, like, I'm going to write that out and rub it right away. And that is a sign of a good pen. Sometimes the gel pens I use, uh, my own hand smears it. But I'm not getting any smearing. These are good. I would recommend these for writing. And look at the great colors that you're getting. Pretty, it puts down some nice color. And these are the R2 Blast Rollerball 7 millimeter. So for lettering and writing and updating your journal, I think these are a great option. And these are actually going to go in my bullet journal bag. So I liked these and I like the color options. I think for spring and summer coming up, these are going to be great. So we're going to, those are a key for sure now the rest of these are all blue or black ink i've never seen these in there before these are the ink brand gel 600 they look like a jelly roller pen so we're going to try one of these in blue and in black because that's the colors they came in right so let's try them out i'm just making a pile of gunk over here so our options here were blue and black, which is good because you need some colors. Um, oh, they're triangular. I like that a lot. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they are triangles. So they are not a big fat pen, which is what I am more comfortable writing with, but they are triangular. This is blue. Oh, God. Okay. First off, it smears. So you want to be careful. But it writes nice. And I think the smearing is indicative of a gel pen, unfortunately. You're going to get a lot of ink put down. Oh, yeah, I recommend these a lot. 
These are the Ink Gel 600. They come in three packs, blue and black. Now, it did smear a little bit when I rubbed my hand over it, so you just want to be careful. But look at the color it puts down. That is a nice, nice pen. Yeah, these are definitely a highly recommend pen if you can get your hands on them. Just going to let it dry before you, you write on it, for sure. Now, these two pens are the ink brand Forma. They are ballpoint, one millimeter. Both of them come in black ink. These pens here are blue, gray, and black, just the pen barrel themselves. Um, and then these are pink, orange, and blue. And I've seen a few YouTubers kind of review these, and they like them, so we're going to try them out. Obviously, I only need to write with one of each, but we're going to try the packagings, which I think these are fun for work. Maybe you can't write in a color. Um, they feel very light in your hand. I like the big fat grip that is also triangular. So that is nice to hold on to. <gasps> Ooh, that is really smooth. No smearing. And then this is same color ink, black. This is just a clear blue and it has that triangular. Oh yes, these are a nice, nice pen. This ink brand Forma. I'm taking these to work to write with. I'll probably give them to my co-workers. These are a nice, nice pen, guys. If you need something to write just blue, or I guess these are just black ink. And some black ink for anything in life, I would definitely recommend. It's very smooth. Doesn't skip anything. Perfect pens here, guys, for the Forma. If you're needing them for whatever reason around the house, they're not going to break the bank. Um, I like, like I said, they have this fat rubber grip. It could be a little more soft, but I like these a lot. All right, we've got two more, two more to try out here of the pens. And maybe I'll save the markers for another time because we're hitting almost 20 minutes. These are Ink Optimus Felt Tip Pen. Now, I use these type of pens in my bullet journal and on my planner a lot. It's got a pretty thin grip. Oh, but it's nice. It's a nice, smooth, perfect line. For journaling, drawing in your journal, fine lining, outlining, this is a good option. Yes, I like these a lot. And this is the Optimus Fine Point Pen. It's a felt tip pen. I like that a lot. So that works. This ink brand is working out to be pretty good for me. And then these are the R2 Precision. I know these write good because this is what I use to write my Christmas cards this year when I use black ink. But I will show you. Um... The gold pen, it still writes in black. These both write in black. I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. These are Rollerball, and they're black ink. And that writes pretty nice. Not as, I'm not going to lie, not as good as these. These are my favorite so far, but these write pretty nice. Um, a little rough, but when you get it going, it's not bad, and it puts down some nice ink, and it doesn't smear. And this is the Precision by the INC Ink brand. Um, I have, all right, we'll do the markers here really quick. Mr. Sketch Crayons, guys, we know these are good, right? And boy, do they smell good. These are cray uh, pens, call, ugh, crayons. This one is grape. And it just, it's a crayon. Let me smell it. It smells just like grape. Yeah, Mr. Sketch is a name brand. I picked these up for some Easter gifts. I'm going to get some coloring books and gift these to some little people in my life that I think will be super fun. And they're the scented ones. If you see them, even for stockings next year, these are great if you have little ones. I wanted to try these. These are Jot brand uh, scented markers. So, this is purple, 
Smells like grape. Ooh, it colors nice. Okay, well, that was silly because I just wrote next to the grape, but they color nice. I'm going to do it on this piece of paper because I had already done the purple crayon, but the pink mm, looks like a highlighter. I don't smell anything. I'm not sure what pink is supposed to smell like. There is absolutely zero scent to that. Uh, blue is blueberry. It's nice. Nice marker. Nice color. It smells like blueberry. Yellow, I'm assuming, is lemon. Get a good yellow down. Eh, a little bit of scent to it, but look at that color. These are not bad markers at all. And lime or green apple, I think, is what it's supposed to be. Mm, I can barely smell it. But they color nice. These two are definitely the biggest scent. But they're nice markers for sure. I think any child will be happy with those. And the last ones we have, these are also Jot brand. These are double-ended markers. And I thought these would be fun for journaling as well. Yeah, that's a nice blue. So it has a pointed tip. And then a um, pen tip. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, these are nice. Um, it's like your brush tip. So when you're learning to do lettering, kind of push it down and go up. These would be nice for when I'm learning to letter, guys. Do the hand lettering, and they write nice. These are a nice marker. So that is it. I will say the ink brand puts out a nice product. Jot is hit or miss. You're not going to go wrong with any of these ink brand black pens. And my favorite of all time for my bullet journaling are going to be these pens here. These colors, the gel 600s, and these Optimus. I'm going to go pick up some more of these. I use this a lot in my bullet journaling. These fine tip black felt tips. So I hope that was inform informational. I hope that was informative and that you enjoyed. And when you go out to the Dollar Tree, you'll have a better idea of what you would like to buy and what I think is worth it and what I think is not. And the end result for me is Jot's pens would be my last resort. Ink would be my first one. And those cello pens, which I don't think is a, um, these, I don't think this is a Greenbrier product. Oh, it is. Um, these cello are nice as well. I would steer clear of the Jot. And I don't think I would get these again. It is an ink brand, but it's not my favorite. But they were okay. So I hope that made sense and you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye.